from the dung heap, everybody. <laughs> These are my friends. <laughs> a lot of my them. friends. <laughs> There he is. Hi, sweetie. <laughs> Hello. Good morning, everybody. And we live. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> hello, hi everybody. Hello, hello. Good morning. It is Wednesday, Wednesday morning. Yeah, so I was just watching Aaron's stream that he's live now. And I think Natalie's live now. Um, I think Kelly, poor Kelly had problems with uh, buffering and things. And at one point, all of a sudden, there was some buffering going on in Aaron's stream. So I'm wondering if there's some uh, signal blocking tech. But as I was watching, there was definitely door tech and, and shade tech going on. It was wild. I maybe maybe we can uh, pop into their stream and say hi. I can pull it up at some point. But it was wild because there was a door open at a bank building, and it's it's a bank, right? Isn't it supposed to be open to the public? So there was a door open, and then Aaron went across the street with with his phone or camera or whatever, and so all of a sudden. He just was standing at the door and the woman was like, go away, you know, and, and then all of a sudden a security guard came and he was looking at the floor at the ground the whole time and closed the door. And then all of a sudden there goes the shade deck. So Kelly was like, oh my God, this is wild. This is so insane. Yeah. So I guess, uh, yeah, it's not, it's not a public bank after all. It's so crazy. Oh, so hi everybody. Great to see you. We got Stasia Flones, uh, good weather. <laughs> I love that. Good weather here in Michigan. A little rain is all so far. A little sunshine added in. Hopefully everyone is doing well. Yeah, we're going to probably have some nice uh, green grass at some point because it rained for about five days straight, I think. And uh, as you can see, the sun's out today. It's a little bit blinding in the back. So mm -hmm. sorry about that. But yeah, hopefully we'll have really good weather for Kelly who's coming tomorrow. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So I do have a lot to do, so I probably won't stay on a long time, but I thought I would pop in. I got some pictures to show you and uh, just wanted to check in with everybody and also talk about a meetup for anybody who's in New England that is within driving distance. Uh, yeah, we'll talk about that and uh, a lot of exciting things happening. So we got our friend Carrie J. Hey there, Carrie. I'll be driving and listening. Hello, hello. So glad you're here listening and driving. Candice, aka also known as Mark Barker. Oh, oh okay. Hi. <laughs> Candies or Candice? Hey, Mark Barker. Good to see you. Hi, all from rainy Wisconsin. We'll catch replay. Almost done with lunch break. All righty. All righty. Thank you for catching the replay. <laughs> George Massey, welcome aboard. Get comfortable and have your favorite beverage ready. Yes, that reminds me of Kelly taking a plane tomorrow. And I am going to attempt to live stream, even though the poor girl has to get up really super early. So she's uh, humoring me by letting me live stream her getting off the plane or at least coming and meeting me. So I'm excited about that. And we have a lift up. Yes, we do. To 45. Hey, great to see you. Great to see you. Good morning, everyone. Hot the like button. I like that. <laughs> it might be a typo, but I like that typo. Hot the like button, everyone. And we got the pot and kettle and, or no, we got the, oh, the tea kettle. That's right. Spilling the tea and coffee pot. Yeah. I think I'm disappointing some, some people, some, uh, lurkers slash hate watchers because, uh, People have sent me screenshots 
lately of <laughs> just, I mean, I don't ask for them. I don't even care. I don't even want to see them, but it is just funny. It's funny that there's certain uh, hate watchers that are like, wow, Marilyn's just a, just an attack dog and wait till she gets a load of this and that. And it's like, you know what? I don't give a shred of an F of all the stuff that you guys do. I don't really care. I don't care what you're saying about the protesters anymore. I don't care. You know, it's just whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, we'll just, uh, you do you. And, uh, yeah, like I said, I was a dog with a bone about the aftermath foundation, about the Stephanie Hutchinson stuff, but you know what there, I'm sorry to say this, but Stephanie Hutchinson and MMC and all that, to me, they're they're irrelevant at this point. It's just whatever. They can do them. We'll do us, right? And uh, it's whatever, as my kids say. It's whatever. So we got Mischief Manage. Hello. Hello, Mischief Manage. So I'm just saying, you know, people might be sorely disappointed that uh, we're just doing our thing. Happy, happy, joy, joy. And yes, SPTV. Hi there, Stephanie East. I got some pictures to show from you. And that reminds me, Stephanie. <laughs> she sent me an 80s picture. And I forgot to show you this, guys. My sister gave me this. We were, we were talking about the 80s hairdos and the Aquanet. And uh, guess what? It's a, it's a water bottle thing. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, we're drinking some Aquanet water today. Yeah. Good morning, Tony. Good morning. Good morning. I'm going to talk to Tony. Oh. Oh, honey, you are here. I thought I heard him outside making all kinds of noise out there. But he's uh, cleaning up the outside. Because literally, guys, our snow just melted. Just melted. And the pool, we just have like an above ground pool with a big deck. And uh, it. The snow, the ice just melted off of that and it's all green and yucky. So yeah, there, there will be probably no swimming while Kelly is here. It's, it's still a little cold, still cold. Dayspiria, hey there, friend, your friend. And uh, thanks to anyone who's watching on the replay. Please uh, hit the like and subscribe if you haven't and say hello in the comments because I do, I promise I do read every single comment. I really, really do. Jenny Bean, good morning. Good to see you. Kim White, hello, hello. Hello there. Greg, 1118. Hey <laughs> there. All right, we got our friend Poet. Awesome. Swedish Lena, hi there, hi there. TN Jenny, hi there. Stephanie's off to watch that after you. Yeah, it was, it's pretty wild. <laughs> Kelly was like, what? Yeah, it was just unbelievable. Mischief Manage, good morning, Mama Bear. Good morning, good morning, Mischief Manage. And we got Airdrie, hey there, from uh, Philadelphia's Mainline. Awesome. <laughs> Stay swear. Have you smacked the like button with your trusty spatula? Go on, do it now. Zenu, oh boy, if Zenu commands you, guess you got to do it. Oh, it's not a bank, a historical bank building. Oh, okay, thanks. Owned by Scientology. Oh, I thought it was like the building was owned by Scientology, but it operated as a bank. It kind of looks like it because, like, you know, you got the woman right at the, right the door behind a little uh, desk and all that. Thank you for, for clarifying, though. How long is her flight? Um, she has a layover, so I'm not sure. From uh, Tampa to New York City, I'm not sure. Um, and just from, from New York City to where we're getting her, I'm not going to announce it yet, but it's like what, what Duncan calls like a puddle jump. You get a, a little plane, puddle jumper. <laughs> yeah. But it's only about an hour and a half drive from us. There's a few different airports. But. I said, can't make everyone happy. Yeah, sorry. I don't have any gossip for you today. You know? Uh, yeah, I'm a gossip channel. Whatever. Whatever. If they only knew the stuff I knew and don't talk about. <laughs> Susie SP Squirrel, good morning. Good morning. Good to see you. 
Mother of Cats from London. Hiya. You there? Ocean Girl 81. Good morning on this lovely spring day. Yes, you're in New England too, is I think. Yeah, it's really nice today. Okay, just going down the line here. Constance June. <laughs> yeah, thanks. <laughs> I know it's funny. It's my little sister that got this for me. She had these pot holders. I should show them to you. They're kind of dirty because I've been using them a lot, but there's the, the oven mitts and she's very, um, I don't know what you just say, like conservative and, you know, she's, she's a devout Christian, which is fine. It's great. But I was shocked because she gave me these pot holders that have like swear words on them. <laughs> like one of them says, um, dropping a new recipe on your ass or something like that. Like dropping a new recipe on your ass. And then there's another one that says another thing that's kind of cheeky and a little dirty. And I'm like, really? <laughs> I thought it was great. Like, wow. Well, well, she knows me. She knows I have that kind of sense of humor. But she doesn't usually encourage it, though. So. Hats off to you. After being in that hot sun, I bet Kelly will find it freezing there. Yeah, I was thinking of having Duncan... Uh, put a space heater and she's actually staying in this room and I wish I could turn the camera around and show you the rest of the room it's not a huge room but it's nice so we call it the bed of nails because the, the bed in here is actually super comfortable it's fairly new and uh we we call it the bed of nails to uh discourage certain people from uh wanting to come back and live here or stay here or like certain in-laws that like to come and not leave <laughs> our secret, our secret, guys. So that's why we call it the bed on nails. Good morning, Pamela SP Butterfly. Great to see you. Tony, uh, no talk, Tony. Aaron was telling them about cameras that were watching them when they gather for the greet. Oh, the meet and greet, greet meet. And it was sent to the newspaper. Well, good. I mean, <laughs> as far as getting sent to the newspaper, get the word out, right? Wow. wow. Nicole Yonker, hey there. Hey, y'all. Marilyn, I was replay crew on your last video, and then I see you're live. Yay. Yay. Thank you for being here. Big Z, 1979. Good morning. Good morning to you. Did I miss somebody? I saw. Oh, there it is. Alu one two three zero. Hey there, good to see you. Sorry if I'm missing anybody. Just wanted to say hello to as many people as I can. There's our friend Poe. Hey, Poe, great to see you. Poe, I am so sorry. I missed a lot of your comments because you tagged me, but I don't. It doesn't light up on on uh, Streamyard. So if you want me to see it. I am so sorry, guys. I actually missed a lot of comments yesterday. A lot of good questions. In fact, I did screenshot some of them. So maybe I'll see if I can look those up and answer them for anybody who asks questions. And then if they're even on the replay, or they can see their questions. But let's see. I did screenshot some and I have some pictures to show you from Dunk and a couple other viewers. Okay, actually, I got some questions here that I'm going to read from, from the chat yesterday. So we had better for having visited this place. That's the handle. And they're a cub. Thank you so much for being a cub. Question. So do you get nice night terrors? I still do 45 years later from care system. Um, I do. I, I do. Not, not as much anymore. Not as many. But I have... I have dreams about like being back at Door of Hope and just the feeling that I, you know, felt. And it's really weird because almost every time I'm, I'm just wondering if you guys have this experience. Almost every time I have a dream, especially if it's like not a good dream, like a, you know, scary dream, it's usually in a place that is fairly unfamiliar, but in my dream it's it's familiar, like it's okay. So let me let me explain this. So like, I'll have a dream about back in high school, right? 
and I have a locker, but the high school isn't my high school, but in my dream it is. Or I'll have a dream that, you know, back when I was a kid that I'm at my house that I grew up in, it doesn't look like the house I grew up in, but in my dream, I think or know it's the house I grew up in. And so the same at, at uh, my scary door of hope dreams, it's usually like, not in in the inn itself. It's a, like a different place, but Marlene's there and stuff's going on and I'm like sad and scared and all that. Um, yeah. So I don't know if anybody has that experience. It's very strange because in my dream, I know where I am, but when I wake up, I'm like, that wasn't Door of Hope, but it was everybody there and it was the same feeling. So I don't know. I just thought I'd throw that out to you because I pretty much, I, I overshare all the time. So, yeah. Hey, Liz. Liz, Liz, gal, gal. Hey, Boots. I'm boarding my second flight home. Sending quick love to you. Mwah. Yeah, I was watching you not sound like a creep, but I was uh, I was actually going to the grocery store really late the other night, like 9 or 10. I was watching. I was listening, not watching. Uh, listening to your replay when you, you and Kelly were explaining about the chalk. Unbelievable. I tell you. Good to see you. Safe flight home. I'm so glad you got a nice little vacay. That's awesome. Nicole, it feels off. I get them too. Oh, good. I'm okay. Not not good that you get those too, but I'm glad I'm not alone because I was like, what is up with my dreams? I need to order new dreams. So. Stage of flow. Chickens are awesome. Okay. I, I must have missed something. <laughs> Yes, yeah, safe trip home, Liz. Oh my God, yay! <laughs> Kansas Esky Gal became a new member. I think maybe you renewed. I thought you were a member before, maybe not. Thank you so much. Yay, a new cup. I get so excited. Awesome, awesome. So, I'm not alone. Yeah, thanks. Let's see if I have any other. I think I do have a few more that I screenshot. Oh, I got a, this new phone is, okay, swipe up. It doesn't have a home button. I see my phone was so old. How old was it? It was so old that it had a home button. So I'm trying to figure this out. Oh, you guys hear that truck? Loud. Or no, maybe it's the planes. We have these like military planes that fly over sometimes. We used to call them champs planes because, um, our, our old dog champ that passed away, he used to go crazy. He, uh, and I think he loved those planes because he would anticipate, he'd hear them like the rumble and he would just go nuts and bark at them. I think he was trying to protect us. Okay. Let's see if I got another question. Um, Susan P had said, Ms. Marilyn, can I say something nice about three other creators? Uh, Susan P, if you are in here, you absolutely can say uh, nice things about any creators you want, but three or more or any, any number that would be wonderful. Okay. Gretchen only, I know, don't know if you're in here, Gretchen, but she asked question, does your nonprofit or any nonprofit, you know, of take yarn and knitting slash crocheting supplies, spring cleaning, and I need to find a home for my yarn. Yeah, I know the feeling. Um, our particular nonprofit does not. I'm not really sure. Does anybody in the chat know if there's one that does that? Um, I, there has to be. I'm thinking. Um, I don't know. Maybe uh, retirement communities. Uh, oh, you know, like, I'm not sure. Nursing homes. Yeah, that's a good question. I know that there's there's charities that collect um like what do they call it prayer shawls and stuff. I wonder if they take yarn. I don't know. Oh, Liz, yes, you should come to the holler. <laughs> we have an extra room and we we could uh we can clean out Duncan's uh study. So why don't you just take a little detour? Come stay with us. Oh my god. Yeah, so we're going to karaoke tomorrow night, Liz. I would love if you would come. I will sing. Um, I'm not as good as you, but I will sing these boots just for you tomorrow. 
I love that song. Right. I was thinking maybe a senior center. Yeah. Yeah. Love the Aquanet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I do have a picture to show later from Stephanie East. So it seems really weird because I just think about this, like how just being asphyxiated as a teenager. And I used to, um, I can't do it sideways, but I used to put the sideways in my banana purse. It was literally shaped like a banana. Oh, you are here. Hey, Gretchen. Yeah, we were just, I was looking up some questions that I got yesterday because uh, the chat was going fast and I didn't have anyone in StreamYard. I never know if I need help or not because some days I have somebody in StreamYard and they probably fall asleep. <laughs> and then other days um, I get a lot of questions that I miss and I always feel bad about that. All right. What else did we miss? Um, okay, Atkins in Texas, we were talking about the Guthrie's yesterday because my boys are friends with Abe Guthrie. I still forgot to ask Austin if he's, if Abe is Arlo's son or grandson. I, I'm not sure. If I had to guess, he looks fairly young, so he might be grandson, but he might be son. But anyways, um, he did the sound, Abe did the sound for the boys' concerts the other night and uh yeah so we were talking about woody guthrie and all them and someone said bob dylan not actually my fave said guthrie was a better source of hope as religion or god i i can understand somebody saying that yeah why not right i get it uh drifter shelly said i'm so sad today it's the 25th anniversary of the columbine shootings Oh my God. So that was yesterday. I used to live there uh, during elementary school and had relatives working at the hospital. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. Thoughts and good vibes and prayers to uh, all the families. Wow. 25 years. Yeah. I remember that day. I remember that day. Just awful. Just awful. And the amount of, um, yeah, amount of incidents has happened ever since. It's just so sad. Ugh. But it's, it's always good to always remember, right? Never forget. Oh, what else we got? Um, <laughs> I said, I don't know if she's here today, but she said, comment, sorry about the house. Sorry, but the house in the church look like they could be locations of Stephen King stories. Oh my God. Yeah. If uh, y'all, if anyone um, hasn't seen it yet, I did share some clips of me going up to Hartwellville, which is only a few miles away, where a uh, location of the actually four buildings that Door of Hope either rented or bought over the years. And uh, it is creepy, isn't it? It's like, it, it's sort of like, you know, beautiful, historical, but also eerie. It, yeah, I like ran to my car. I didn't stay. I, I didn't go too far away from my car because uh, it is creepy, even though it literally is up the road. Oh. Stasia says sun is shining again. Wow, such a pretty day so far. I hope my coworkers are behaving well today. Too many pissed me off. Oh, geez. Sorry about that. I was not feeling my best, and they sure tested me. I hear you. I hear you. Uh, Nicole Yonker, reach out to retirement homes. Sometimes the ladies make blankets for charities. Yeah, I was thinking that. I know that there's like uh, little like stitching, stitch and bitch circles that do like prayer shawls, and not that they, not that they stitch a bitch, but yeah. I think that's a good that's a good idea. Betsy Sue, hi there. Just call me Betsy. Woody Guthrie died from Huntington's disease. The same thing took my husband. I'm so sorry, Betsy. I'm so sorry. Yeah, that's a bear of a disease. That's terrible. I didn't know that about Woody. Wow. That's so sad. <laughs> I love how Raymond is just casually sitting in the corner. Yes, that's that's uh, Raymond the Rainbow Rod. And uh, 
I actually, I have a picture I forgot to show you guys yesterday because I was talking to my mods before I came on yesterday and I told them what I was going to go do. Right. And they were like, you, you know, like maybe you shouldn't go alone. Should you have to go with you? And he was hiking and I thought about the dogs, but then the dogs would totally blow my cover. Right. So they suggested that I strap Rodney and Raymond in the car and bring them with me as like emotional support. So I did. So I did. And I have, I have a picture of that. So I'll show you that. Um, Swan. Oh, comment. Constance June. Swanson Fabrics in Massachusetts will take a uh, drop off or mail. <clears throat> excuse me. Mail and yarn donations. I think I need some more Aquanet. Mm. That sounds good. Constance, do you do you live in Massachusetts? Because that reminds me. Um, I want to talk about. So several of you asked about a meetup. So, um, I talked to Kelly, and we're thinking of doing something in um, next week and Tuesday, because Duncan actually uh, needs needs the internet all day, so he's taking a course. So I thought we could take a ride. So I'm going to go over the Mohawk Trail with her and show her where I grew up. In Florida, Florida mountain, because <laughs> you just come from Florida, so we'll go to Florida, and um, we're gonna go to Greenfield. So this is Tuesday, and meet up somewhere for lunch. So if you are uh, within driving distance of Greenfield, Mass, it's right off of Route Two, goes right through Greenfield, and it's right off of um, I ninety one. So coming from the south or the north, yeah. So if anybody's interested, I can give you the time and the place. Just drop me an email at Coffee Cults and Crafts at gmail.com. Yeah. And I even had someone email me about um, go meeting up for karaoke tomorrow night. <laughs> so, um, yeah. And that that's going to be um, not as close for everybody. That's just in, in uh, North Adams. So, yeah. Um, Joel McCoy comment. I have a friend who lives in an old church. There are people knock on his door a lot. Uh, tell him stories about how a cult-like group used to use it. He put a sign out that says, cult no more. Wow, I love that. <laughs> yeah, this has been a residence for this the little church building. Has been a residence um, from as far back as I can remember. Um, was after, you know, Door of Hope, I say we, Door mm -hmm. of Hope rented it. Actually, it was just Marlene basically that rented it. And it's a really, really nice building. It's beautiful inside. Really nice. Emotional support rods. That's right. That's right. Absolutely. So I was going to look and see if there's anything exciting going on in Iron Stream. I had it on there. I don't know what happened to it. There it is. Let's see. I'm just I'm just looking to see. Oh, it's dark. What happened? All right. Look, just looks like they're looking at some building. It looks like an outdoor venue. Okay. I guess we won't check that out right now. But all right. So, anyways, maybe maybe I'll show you those pictures. And I'm not gonna stay on too long because I gotta run and do some stuff. Um, Joel McCoyan, old churches are sold cheap usually. It's hard and expensive to redo them. Yeah. That, yeah. There's two church buildings in the town that I live in. And one of them, I mean, what do you guys think about this? I, I cringed the other day because I saw that they painted. There's, there's one that's still operating as a church. It's a community church. And there's one right across the street, literally right across the street that's an old church building and it used to be methodist and baptist i think and then at one point you know it's such a small town there's only 700 people in this town they years ago they consolidated into a community church so they took over one building now this other one has been pretty much a private residence or empty or whatever for many years they just painted it black like black um, i don't know who owns it or anything but that just kind of made me cringe i mean I shouldn't care because, like, I'm not even religious anymore, but I just think that's weird. 
I don't know what they're going to be doing in there, but yes, they they painted it black. So, in Carnesol, Greenfield is now a bit of a hike from Medford. Yeah, and I have work meetings. That's okay. I just thought I'd put it out there. And uh, I had a friend from Medford, and they called it Mefa. <laughs> they don't pronounce a lot of their consonants, so it was Mefa. I'm sure you don't say Mefa, do you? They say Medford or Medford, Medford, Mepha, Medford. <laughs> I think I when I lived out there, when I had the accent, I would have said Medford, pretty sure. So there we go. So I said, sorry, I would totally just, that's okay. That's okay. I think it's just a like an inward, you know, knee jerk reaction. You're like, and then I'm like, eh, nothing wrong with that, you know. Uh, painting it black and converting it into a private home. Those buildings have beauty to it. Yeah, it really does. Yeah, there's a lot of old churches around here. Hey, Pup Groomer. Great to see you. Good to see you. But I don't know. It just had this like inner like, hmm, you know, thing about it. Like, why black? So, okay. I'm going to show you those pictures and then we can chat a little more. And uh, I think I'm going to get going. Sorry for the the short stream, but just want to check in and everybody's live. So, um, lots of other stuff to watch. And I got my whole list of things I got to do. Oh, maybe it's haunted. There's nothing creepier than a whole church. Yeah. Ison's living room has black walls. That's, that's cool. I, uh, I used to love in the, back in the seventies dating myself. One cool thing my adoptive parents let us do is whenever they were going to like paint a room over, especially the ceilings, they would give us like black light paint and then we'd have black lights and everything would light up. So we would like paint planets and things like that. I did that for my kids when they were little, just as a little tradition. I thought that was really fun. Mrs. Mia. Hi there. Good to see you. Hey, Fluffer. <laughs> Fluffer Squirrel. Hello, hello. Uh, George Massey, watch Antisocial Network on Netflix, which touches on Scientology. Fascinating. Hmm. Awesome. I I always like to watch those kind of documentaries. That's why I have all the streaming uh, services or whatever they call it. Yeah, that's why I have them all. Because I don't want to miss a cult documentary, that's for sure. Mrs. Mia, I hope I'm welcome here. Of course you're welcome here. Why wouldn't you be? Absolutely. Everyone's welcome. I mean, even even people, I don't I mean, I don't I don't worry about like I like having any challenging questions or people disagree, that's fine. I just don't really like trolls, but you don't look like a troll. You seem fine. Yeah. Oh, you just answered my question. Oh, what was your question? Did I miss it? I'm trying not to miss questions today. I missed so many yesterday. I apologize. But, okay, I'm going to show you those pictures, and then I'm, I ab absolutely have to get going, so sorry about that. Oh, not everywhere if you are a critic of some behavior. Yeah, well... You can you can be a critic. Um, I you know, I guess um, where I stand on certain things is like if it's something private or personal, or then I don't really like to get into that. Um, like I said earlier, I don't know if you were listening when I when I started. I was talking about like things that affect you know groups of people or communities, like um, like the aftermath foundation thing. I was like a dog with a bone with that for a while. So uh, that was uh, something that um, that I was passionate about, and I talked a lot about. I'm not I'm not here to comment on every little bit of um, you know conflict, or I don't even like to say drama because that 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 just makes I think that that sort of is like dismissive, you know, like oh that's drama. Like if you care about that, you're just drama. No, if you care about it, you care about it. That's fine, but. Um, 
I I don't speak for anybody. I I don't take up anybody else's mantle. Um, I'm not an attack dog for anybody, <laughs> like I've been accused of. I just talk about what I feel passionate about and what I want to talk about. And uh, like I said, if people only knew what I don't talk about, they give me some credit. <laughs> so, anyways, um, Mrs. Mia, I I don't. Okay, I can't. Is that I can't stand man using woman or man deciding what a real woman is. I hear you. I hear you. Um, I um, I've talked about this a little bit. I just brushed on it because it's not something that I feel like I want to um, dig deep on in my channel. But um, I did get some questions about Andrew Gold the other day, and uh, I disagree with him on some things. I used to watch him when he was more. Um, he was more geared towards uh, talking about cult survival, you know, cult survivors and their stories. Um, that's what I was a big fan of his. The direction he's going in now is not my bag. I'm not into that. Um, I believe strongly that everybody it should be, you know, everybody should be allowed to be who they are. Um, I don't get into politics on my channel, but um, I don't think that human decency and uh, civil rights are a matter of politics. Where it does get into politics is where I, you know, I don't get into that. I'm here to talk about, to share my life, to talk about cult survival, to, you know, talk about things that are on people's minds, like things in the community. I don't shy away from pretty much anything. Um, but I, I do, I do try to avoid um, mainstream religion talk and um politics because what do they say religion and politics are uh, two things that um divide people and there's been wars because of religion so and definitely from politics so hey cricket hey sweetie good to see you so glad you're here yay wide awake and babysitting my neighbor oh that's so kind of you you're such a sweetheart good to see you um, and I know I was going to wrap it up, but I was seeing people like, like Hey, um, Chow, if there's, if there's some, still some spots left on the cruise, let us know if anybody is interested, if they can email you. So there is, uh, I don't know. It seems to be changing names a lot at, we'll just call it the SP cruise. Um, I guess it was Zeno Marlene. Now it's, there's a t-shirts out, but, but whatever it's the cruise, right? <laughs> the cruise on the, uh, what is it? The Carnival Magic. And it's the September 21st through the 29th, is it? So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. Okay. Our tax is stupid horse. The uh, Andrew Gold and Aaron Smith Levin interview was crazy. I'm not sure how I feel about either of them now. Sending love to you, Marilyn. Thank you. And that's fair. That's totally fair. Um, you know, I, I consider Aaron a friend doesn't mean that I agree with them on everything. And I, uh, yeah, I, it's totally fair. I'm not black. I, I don't have black and white thinking. Like if you disagree with me on something, I'll still be your friend, you know, no big deal. Um, but I, I myself, I'll just tell you that, um, yeah, I, I believe that, Everybody has a right to call themselves whatever they want. Um, as far as when it gets into politics, though, uh, that's when I, I draw the line. So, Italian spot. I'm still calling it Zena Marlene Cruz. All right. Awesome. Me too, then. <laughs> Me too. I'm with you. That's the official name of the group. Okay. All right. Gotcha. Thank you for that. Yeah. Yeah. So, everyone's welcome here. Um, the, the thing I always say is that. Everyone's totally welcome to have disagreements. Where I um, have removed people is if they're just coming in picking a fight and it gets to be obvious or they're just kind of doing shots. That's why that's why I I usually set it for subscribers only because you know you have to you only have to be a subscriber for like five, 10 minutes. So it's just for for you know troll, like straight up trolls to not just come in, take pot shots and leave. Um, the other thing is 
you know, I call it spamalicious. If you get a little spamalicious with your opinion and people are tagging other people and, and just causing a lot of like, you know, um, just a ruckus that I'm like, I usually give like two warnings and I'm like, okay, sorry. You know, not my vibe, not my vibe. I really like it to be comfortable here. Um, it's okay to be uncomfortable when you're talking about serious things, but at the same time, um, I don't think that my, that my chat is going to be a place for people to change the minds of other people. You know, it's okay to discuss, but I, I, I don't like it when, you know, I'm talking about one thing and then all of a sudden, like I look at the chat later and it's just been this big, you know, crazy free for all because a lot of, um, my, um, my channel is about is interacting with you all. So, uh, again, I like challenging questions. There's pretty much nothing I won't, uh, address or talk about. But uh, yeah, there's comes a time when it's like agree to disagree, I guess. Yeah. Purple light, gold's cognitive dissonance turned me off. He made a statement last fall that was so off base. I I get you, and uh, to be honest, um, I've I've pushed back with him quite a bit um, on some things. I did not, and he knows this, and I'm not to be the dead horse, but. Uh, I, I tagged him a, a bajillion times about the, the video that he did about Doug um, right after he passed. And I think it was the day after we found out or the day we found out. And uh, yeah, I didn't appreciate that. And a lot of people didn't either. So I'm glad that he removed it because he didn't get a really good reception from a lot of people. So, um, you know, props to him for, for uh, taking it down and for apologizing. So, yeah. Yeah, I said that's exactly how I feel. Yeah. All right. Mrs. Mia, politics in US or UK, not my cup of tea. But women's women's rights and other things in Germany can make me wild about this interview and the memories it moved up in me. Yeah. And people be friends or respectful. Yeah. Hundred percent agree with that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mrs. Mia, I'm too old to fight over opinions. Talking kindly and respectful, that's my thing. But in some chats, it's another thing. Yeah, we really try to keep it civil. You know, I, I don't want an echo chamber where everybody has to agree all the time. And uh, I'm not team anybody, honestly. I'm just... I'm just me, and uh, I, I guess I keep people guessing because <laughs> it's almost funny. Like I think, feel like I'm—I don't care that I'm disappointing people, but certain people are expecting me to to take this side or to address this issue or whatever. You know what? If it doesn't concern me and I don't really feel um, like like I should talk about it, I don't. I don't. Oh. T and Jenny, my opinion on Gold's views is he's entitled to his own opinion, his own onion, right? Everyone's entitled to their own onion. It was a typo I had once and I kept that. I liked it. And I even have a, I even have a little emoji about it. I don't have to agree with them. Absolutely. Yeah. Like I would say, there's, I looked it up. There's something like 38 million YouTube channels. So uh, if I don't like something, I just change the channel. Yeah. Nicole. Whoop. Nicole Yonker, if they have opinions that you know will hurt someone deeply, then why say it? Yeah, I understand. I, I totally, um, I, I wish it was different. I wish people would be a little more sensitive, but I guess that's their opinion and I don't have to agree with it. I don't have to agree with it and I don't a lot of times. Yep. Tampa a girl, no sides, a common goal to get rid of. Get rid of Scientology, right? Yeah. Our tax is stupid horse. Hey there. Uh, your channel has an interesting niche for people to discuss without being in an echo chamber. Just because someone doesn't 100% uh, doesn't mean it's coming from OSA. Right. I thank you for saying that because I'm getting kind of sick of this, uh, you know, Oh, boogeyman slash osa osa slash boogeyman thing it's like i've if i disagree with anybody all of a sudden i'm osa 
Uh, I'm OSA. It's like, everybody's OSA. Ciao, you're OSA. You know, everybody's OSA. It's like, come on, come on. It just, ugh. it's gross. It's just gross. Oh. Uh, cricket, ciao, young smut. 100% Mads. I operate my show the same way. It's up to me to decide who I'll platform, how and when. I like to keep things chill on my channel as much as I can. Yeah. Yeah, you're way more chill than me. You you are class act. Because sometimes I get to be in my bonnet, you know. Sometimes my biscuits are burning. And uh, I, I do go off and stuff. But, it, but it's my choice. It's like, you know, it's every creator has their own channel, right? And uh, I feel like if people don't agree with me, it's okay. It's okay. I am Spartacus. Or no, I mean, I'm Osa, right? Oh, did I see that you say there are spots left on the cruise? Awesome. So it's at Chow Yun Smot, just like it's spelled right here. At Chow Yun. Okay. So um, to email you, it's Chow Yun Smot at gmail.com. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Everybody's joking about Osa. No, I'm Osa. No, I'm Osa. Everybody wants to be Osa. Yeah. <laughs> Has someone else seen the video of Ian? I, I did watch some of it. Um, I went to the chat and I got not not a, a good welcome. And I just um I like Ian. I um I really uh, my heart goes out to him. He's been through a lot. And uh again, I don't, you know, I he I don't even know if he knows I exist. If he does, he might not like me because he knows that. You know, he would probably know that I have friends that he probably doesn't like, but um, I like Ian and uh, he's he's a second gen. He's a second gen. He's been through hell. And uh, I would. Uh, yeah, I would I would go uh, to bat for him. So. I am Osa. OK, everybody's Osa. Osa can fuck off into the forever. Yep. Yep. Um, I mentioned this yesterday, Kelly and I are working on a little medley and, uh, we're getting so, some people to get involved and we're doing a, a village people medley with, it's a, it's a parody about Scientology. So we're doing, um, in the Navy, but it's in the Sea Org to the tune of in the Navy. And, uh, I've been working on the verses. I think I got them down and then, um, uh, it goes into, um, uh, YMCA. And it's actually, uh, instead of YMCA, it's Scientology. Yeah. And little baby Davy's fake na space Navy. -E. Yeah. So we're having, I know I'm off to <laughs> And now I'm embarrassed because Cricket's in here. And she's like, perfect pitch. Did, did you know that, that um, Cricket, when Kelly told me that when she was taking your, I think it was your night med song and she was putting music to it. She's like, she was like, perfect perfect pitch. I was like, that was awesome. I believe it. I'm sure she was. Loved hearing Kelly and Lori play singing in the Sea Org. Yeah. Yeah. She's getting clips of it to put it together. And uh, I'll tell you a secret. So I, I got my, my boys and their, the, some of their friends to agree to help us with this. So I ordered some little, uh, costumes and, uh, I think we're going to do like a little like routine and, and have a clip to, of that to put in, to put in the, the video when we put it together, not when we put it together, when Kelly puts it together. So it's going to be so much fun. Hey, Fiona, great to see you. Good day to you. Good day to you. Oh, that's okay. I think I'm winding down. I just wanted some things were on people's minds. So, uh, yeah, I'm totally okay with talking about that. Uh, Airdrie said, Tip O'Neill met up with Ronald Reagan for amiable chats. That would never happen today. You are making the right decision. Friends I've talked to about politics my whole life can't have civil discussions. Yeah. Yeah. I have, I have neighbors that are, um, the best neighbors. I love as neighbors and as people, they're great. They're great people, but, um, politically wise, they're a little extreme on one certain side. Um, 
I don't care what side anybody is extreme on. Extremes are bad to me. Um, yeah, I don't like extremes. And, and I may seem wishy-washy, but I would rather be accused of being wishy-washy than being a fanatic. Because guess what? I was a fanatic. I was a, a religious fanatic for too many years. So, oh, Mrs. Mia, at the end, it's all about ending Scientology and the back network of Neverin is quite big in Europe. Yeah, we want to end Scientology. Absolutely. Well, I'll claim it for you because you do have perfect pitch. So I believe that I have. You do. You really do. You have one of my favorite singing voices ever, ever. I said, to be honest, I keep away from political extreme. Right. Right. Any extremes are bad. Religious extremes, political extremes. Right. I think when at the end of the day, what it comes down to is people and relationships for me. And if I see somebody being abused by a cult like Scientology or by a political system, I, I will reach out to them and fight for their rights. But when it comes to, um, you know, politics in general, not my bag, not my bag. So moderation. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Politics are wild. All right. Let me show you these pictures. I'm excited about this. So yesterday my hubby was hiking and he sent me some pictures. We sent them on email and he wanted me to put them up, but you know, I can't figure out all that. So what I did was I put it on, um, Facebook messenger seems to be the easiest way <laughs> for me to share things. So, um, yeah. All right, guys. Um, I don't watch him. I don't, I don't, I don't watch our, our tax. I, I don't watch him. Um, yeah. Yeah, I don't really have anything to say about him. If you haven't been around for a while, you it, if you if you knew um, what happened about two weeks into having my channel, you'd understand why I, I really don't give that guy any oxygen. Um, not that he's always wrong. Um, he has he has come out with some things that are true, but for the most part, yuck. Yeah, for the most part, I just I just think it's not not healthy for me to watch him. That's all. So, all right. I said, as soon as I see someone in a parasocial space who's extreme, they're off my friends list or not be at it. I hear you. I hear you. Yeah. All of you survivors must stick together. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's do this. <laughs> uh up here so this is the mountain that duncan was hiking it's it's mount Greylock. it's the highest peak in massachusetts he he does it like on a tuesday morning no you know right after his coffee he just he's always up there um he got a new camera he got a new phone actually with a great camera it's like the latest samsung and he was showing me some of the pictures so i want to share those with you they're really cool and he last i think last winter he hiked up this mountain in the snow <laughs> uphill both ways right in the snow and uh yeah he got some amazing pictures i'll have to show you those sometimes like there's there's a tower up there i guess it's called a beacon um i'll show you some more of these pictures hopefully i'm going the right direction i don't know if you can see but there's the tower up there you can see it from different angles like actually from right up um my hill if i walk up about 100 feet i I'm like a straight line to it and you can see the tower sticking up like that. But sometimes they have fireworks up there and stuff. It's wild. Usually in the winter cuz you know, it's a fire hazard. But so this is he got to the top. This is the tower in the distance. He's got some great snow pictures with that tower. And then wow, that's so clear. That's the clearest picture I've seen of the top. So you can walk up the spiral stairs and go and you can see I think is it four states you can see from here? A lot of states. Really pretty. And then he's got some views. So that's over the visitor center. You can see the layers of mountains. This is the Appalachians. It's, I think, 
One of these is the Hoosick range. I'm not sure which ranges that is, but I think that's that's south. I think, honey, if you're in the chat, let me know. Okay, so pretty. I love how the clouds like cast a shadow on the mountains. That is so cool. And this is from, I think he said from the top of the mountain, he has a, a long range camera. And this is the new visitor center that they just, that they just built at the bottom of the mountain. I can't believe that it's so clear. I mean, this is, I'm not sure what the elevation of the mountain is. It's pretty high, but it's probably compared to Rocky Mountains, it's like a little hill, but yeah. So there's the ponds. My kids have swam in that one, I think. They call that the Glen. And this is a waterfall that he took. So right now they call it the spring runoff. It was basically, we don't have, we don't have spring here. We have mud season. We have mud season. And I was, I was warning Kelly about it because she had these cute little sneakers and I'm like, you don't want to wear those to Vermont. Sorry. <laughs> I was like, we have to give you some uh, puddle jumpers, some, some, uh, what do they call that? Galoshes or something. But he sent me a little video too. Let me see if you can, if you can see it and hear it. But this is like, it just basically makes its own waterfalls because you get these, uh, when the snow melts, you just get tons of runoff. Oh, let's see if I can. It's all coming down the mountain. Well, you can see these little stones. It almost looks like slate. Okay, well, that's it. Oh, and that was, okay, so that's Stephanie. Uh, Stephanie E sent this in. This is the SBTV Never Ends t-shirt that uh, she got from my merch store. And that's her daughter. She's beautiful and she's having a baby. So I think this, I think she said this was at her uh, baby shower. So cute. Yes, the air does smell fresh. You're right. It really does up here. So that's such a cute picture. And Stephanie sent in this. <laughs> yes. So this was... Uh, one of uh, our uh, series of 80s hairdos. <laughs> I think she said maybe she was 13. It was so cute. I don't know how she got that hair up like that. I couldn't get my hair that high, even with even with Aquanet. <laughs> That's so cute. Okay, I think I have some a few more pictures. Oh my God, look at this, guys. So this this was sent in by Mike Jesus. You've uh, probably seen that handle quite a few times here. This is from Mike Jesus. And um, Mike Jesus is a she. <laughs> and uh, she's a female truck driver. And this is let me get this right, Buck. I think his name is Buckskin, and they call him Buck for short. So uh, that's her little little co-pilot. Co I can't. It's so cute. So, so cute. I got a couple more pictures of Buck. The kid. Oh my god. And then I think I have one of him sleeping. I do. Aw, so precious. So precious. Just love him. Oh. Okay. So that's that. And I had I had the pictures. Don't drive angry. That's right. Isn't he so so cute? I thought I had the picture of uh Rodney and Raymond strapped into the, the car. Let's see. Oh, there they are. <laughs> yeah, those were my little co-pilots yesterday. My emotional support penises. So they were good to have on board. <laughs> One sec, guys. Yeah, happy couple. <laughs> yeah, and I I love it. I love that uh, Rodney found love. He has uh, his rainbow Raymond husband. I love it, and uh, yeah, loud and proud. And it's it's a nephew to uh, LRH and Marlene and all the cult leaders that um, try to control people's um, 
love and who they are and their life. Uh, fuck you. Yeah. I love it. So safety first. That's right. <laughs> that's right. Strap it in. <laughs> safety first. When you called them that yesterday. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> ESP. <laughs> Looks like the seatbelt would hurt. Roddy Raymond. Oh, <laughs> uh, you know, you got to have fun. You got to have fun to it with it, you know? All right. Did I miss anything? I'm going to scroll up for a sec. Mm -hmm. all right i'm just scrolling up see if i loads of mud here yeah yeah i uh i told kelly this morning that uh it's actually the most uh, it's the most ugliest time of the year it, that's not ugly here but it's just there's no you know there's no snow on on the mountain so it's not that like crisp white, like on the trees, that's beautiful. And in the summer, it's beautiful because you get, you know, all the, the greenery, green mountains, right? Fall is absolutely breathtaking with the fall foliage and the springs just, there is no spring. It's just mud, mud season and bare trees, but it is still, it's still pretty. It's just not as pretty. Yeah. How did that pup get a drive li driver's license? I know, I know. <laughs> I love it. That's awesome. Yeah. Did Kelly pack her Wellington boots? I, I don't know. I told her, see, I forgot what size she takes because in, in the UK, it's different si shoes are different sizes. I'll have to see what size she takes. Um, cause I doubt she could really like pack big boots, big, uh, mud boots in her suitcase. So Vermont is gorgeous in the summer. Yeah, it is. No talk, Tony. Comment. No med here, just wind and lots of it. Yeah. You make the cutest Uber driver. Yeah, I hope Mike Jesus sees this. I'll have to email her back and tell her to look at it. Okay, everyone. Oh, so we made it an hour. There we go. So much for a quick live, but thanks for everyone stopping in. And yeah, it's like, um, I like this to be sort of like, you know, like a living room, like chatting, you know, hanging out, chatting with your friends, just doing a check in. I have, I do that with my kids. We just uh, sit on the porch and uh, drink coffee or whatever else um, we have and uh, just do little check ins and whatever is on anyone's mind, you know, I'm here for it. So, oh, good. One hour is quick. Yes. <laughs> quick for me. Uh, all right, everyone. I will see you soon. So tomorrow I am going to try to live stream from the airport. So uh, we'll, we'll welcome Kelly live. I'm so excited. I can't believe it. So, all right, everyone have a great day and uh, talk to you soon. Bye. Zinu Marlene, everybody partake. Cheers. Mm, this is good coffee. This is why, you know, my hobby makes the coffee.